During 2020, a diverse group of Northwest University staff members collaborated to create an online short learning program, SLP, in research design, specifically designed for novice researchers. While the challenges created by the COVID-19 lockdown indeed emphasized the need for flexibility in tertiary education, it also opened the door to transfer an existing in-person course to a short learning program. This program would focus on online learning rather than just teaching to build participants' research methodology capabilities. The SLP includes 10 study units and goes beyond guiding students through the intricacies of qualitative, quantitative and mixed methods research designs. It shows participants where their research fits within the context of the university's research focus. It also teaches them how to use various statistical software and finally how to move beyond the write-up for their degree and translate their findings to actually impact society. Good afternoon everybody. I just wanted to say welcome to the synchronous group session interview and uh, thank you for joining us this afternoon. So what a wonderful privilege to engage with you in gaining some insights today from your experience of the online approach to this short learning program on research design offered by Obtentia. I am sure you are as excited as I am about this novel approach in learning about research. So my definition of online learning would be where the material and engagement all happens on a digital platform um, without having to get in my car and drive anywhere, which is what I really love about it. That everything is available virtually at your fingertips and whenever you're ready to engage. The self-directed nature of it and uh, the, the, the fact that you know you can you can uh, engage with the platform at in your own time uh, that has been uh, really exciting for me uh, you know being able to pace yourself and be autonomous in your approach um, and yeah like uh, being able to uh, you know uh, rewind the videos and listen again uh, to get a bit more clarity and wrap your head around the concept that for me has been uh, quite uh, 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 enjoyable. I, I enjoyed that part. So in my opinion, one of the biggest things for the online SLP type of programs is the fact that it needs to be very well thought out and well structured. Uh, you need to know exactly when your assignments are due and you need to know exactly um, yeah, what is expected of you. So having trackers to look at um, you know, where you're at and what you still have to do and just to keep you on track, I think that's very important. I would say that the most important ingredient for any online program is to have a stable platform. Um, if, um, if you are an online student, you want to ensure that you have a platform that allows you to have the resources at your fingertips, but at the same time, allow ensure that it is user friendly. Um, what, for example, with Obtentia Short Learning Program, what's really nice is that it runs on two platforms. It runs on Ifundi and it runs on Rise. So this for me was something that was very important because they ensured that they had a backup so that all of their participants to the learning program always had access to the content. And this also then enhances your convenience and your learning experience in a positive way. So I've been doing uh, online learning from 2013 when I started my B science honors and my MBA in finance. I was doing it at UK universities. So one thing I'm quite happy about this SLP now, it's much more advanced than what I used to do with these UK, UK universities. There's quite more flexibility, user-friendly. There's quite more better things which I can say if I compare to these UK universities. There's much a good improvement advancement. I think eight out of 10, I like this. On a scale of one to 10, I think I would rate it 10. The reason I say this is because of my personality preference. I'm the type of individual that's very structured. 
So based on how this learning, um, the short learning program was structured is that everything was automatically and already uploaded. So one study unit was done. I did not have to wait um, for notes to be emailed to me or wait for uh, presenters to upload um, the next study unit. So I would say that my, my rating would be a 10 because it is a positive experience and it's just easily accessible at any time. For me, the part that has made it most exciting is the slides. The, sl- the an- I don't know how what to call it, but the slides where, the animated slides where they convey a short video summarizing the information for you. Um, when I did my honors, we had a lot of information to read through, especially when it came to the different types of research. You had to comb through a lot of things just to get a basic understanding. So for the fact that there's already a slide there that summarizes everything for you, easing you into the content, it makes it that much easier. Also for the fact that they plug in different videos. They don't explain the same concept in one way. So for example, with just the introductory, I think they explain the basic versus applied research in three different videos. So even if you don't understand one individual, there's always another resource that you can refer to. Uh, The last one that I also have been excited most about is the forums. Um, As previously stated, sometimes you understand something one way, but then you go online and you see how people have interpreted it. So it's not necessarily just um, about facts, but you get to understand people's different objectives, which I think is also very important, especially in research, because one thing we have to get um, acquainted with is the fact that research at times is subjective. Um, People will have different opinions on things, but getting to understand how people have been viewing the same set of information, um, I think it's also helping me in communicating clearly um, it's helping me in how am I going to approach my research content to to get people to reach a, not necessarily the exact same conclusion that I'm trying to get them to, but to, to, to have a similar view to what I am trying to say. So I think the forums are helping me with that, shaping my discussions and my understanding of people and also clearly communicating and being concise. You need to really understand the the constructs um, really well before you can actually start to really apply them. So I think you need to be open-minded and you need to be able to make the time to put in the work because it's not just a one and done research. It's not as easy as I think a lot of people perceive it to be. What is most valuable for me is to be driven, to know what is your research focus and to focus on that because you can get sidetracked very easily and start reading up on other things that you're not actually because you're wasting time and then of course time management skills is also something that's crucial really a stable foundation in terms of uh, my research principles you know the principles of research uh, that uh, and and that and having that foundation will most importantly give me confidence when it comes to research because you know the biggest problem with me when it comes to when it came to research or uh, whenever i thought about research it was I, I never felt competent you know even though i have my master's degree but research was always something that i kind of always shied away from but uh, i feel from uh, the experience that i've had so far with the slp i feel uh, I can see that a strong, a firm foundation is being built. And with that comes confidence, you know, to say, okay, if I have this foundation, uh, then I, I know what I'm doing and I can do it. You don't have to know before you try. So something that's been interesting for me with this SLP is because I've never learned online before, Um, that you can learn experientially and you can learn practically as you go and if you sit okay with the or comfortably with the uncertainty principle which is that you're comfortable with not knowing and you can just discover as you go along then you're actually a lot more capable and competent than you think you are Um, and you actually have a wonderful potential to learn in ways that you never knew that you had before so that's something that definitely came up when we were working in a group today that we can just kind of 
make it up as we go along and find our way and we have the capacity to do that. Engaging in, in the shared learning programs gives this refreshing perspective. It gives this new hunger for research and new understanding for research. And you're then able to pursue uh, uh, um, your, the research problems that you want to look at or the niche areas that you want to look at with even better understanding, with even a fresher perspective and with even more passion. So I would say, yeah. But how do you fit all the research you must learn in an online SLP with all the benefits and engagement you would expect from a traditional SLP? While the SLP was designed to give the student maximum opportunity to become a confident researcher, new students may first have to set aside time to navigate adapting to online learning, technical issues, their own level of computer literacy, time management and motivation. The collaborative approach used by educators, subject specialists and instructional designers is a vital link to create an environment that allows learners to meet learning outcomes. Utilizing dedicated software, the development of the SLP include considerations such as metacognition, neuroplasticity of the brain, cognitive load and the universal design of learning. Universal learning design is an educational framework used for flexible learning environments that can accommodate individual learning differences, such as online learning platforms. The first pillar of universal design learning is a recognition network. It deals with the what and involves multiple methods of representation to give learners various ways of acquiring knowledge. The second pillar is an effective network. It concerns the why and involves multiple ways of engagement to tap learners' interests, challenge them appropriately, and motivate them to learn. There are three types of engagement. Instructor to student engagement, student to content engagement, and student to student engagement. The third pillar is a strategic network. It deals with a how and enables multiple means of expression to provide learners alternatives for demonstrating what they know. The online SLP in research design is available on three platforms, namely Rise Articulate, eFundi and Glide, and can be accessed through a computer and mobile devices.